The story took a huge turn yesterday because Joseph was on top of the world and all of a sudden he's in trouble. And he is before Potiphar and Potiphar's wife at this point. And she literally turns on him because she, she grabbed his coat and then she lied to the other servants about him. And so now he comes before Potiphar and she accuses him of coming after her, which he knows is not the truth. And do you know what Joseph says? Joseph says nothing. He says nothing because it gets him the blame game and the only person that can look bad is him. He doesn't choose to go that route because he knows that in the end there's one person that's going to get in trouble and that is the slave. And so he stands there and says nothing, as we said earlier, just as Jesus said nothing. Sometimes being the bigger person means that you have to be the sacrifice. Sometimes saying nothing is the most that you can say and the best thing that you can say. And it may be something you have to carry with you wherever it is that you go. But in the end, if you're representing God, sometimes that's the best thing to do. Oh, is it difficult? Trust me, trust me, trust me, it is difficult. But if it's the right thing to do and it ends everything right there, maybe that's a step that you need to take. And so at this point in Joseph's life, he gets thrown into jail. Now, none of us or most of us would not react this way. And yet he gets thrown into jail. And how in the world could he look up to the Lord at this point in this time?